everybody. Welcome, welcome to our live. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day so you can learn more about Luminous. We talk about skincare, color cosmetics, and of course, airbrush. <coughs> Sorry. We always like to go over airbrush <coughs> and what you get in your kit. Um, so because we, we have people at all different levels. And so we know that there's going to be people that um, are first starting out. Maybe you got it and you haven't even opened it yet. Or maybe you've been airbrushing for a while. So that's why we go over everything. So let me move this around so I can see everybody. All right, there we go. All right. So once, um, and I, I labeled this Monday in a rush with airbrush because airbrushing is going to save you time. Now there is a learning curve. Hello, Veronica. There is a learning curve. And so don't let that, um, make you think that, oh, this is going to take her. No, airbrush is not just for special occasions. It's for every day. It will save you time. It's going to save you, save your skin. It's going to make you look 10 years younger. And so we just need to get the art of the airbrushing down first. Good morning, Linda. Good morning, Cindy. So let's go over that real quick. We're going to go over, let me get the here is the icon. We also have the icon pro and the legend. Um, and of course the breeze, we have the breeze, which is our new tor uh, chargeable cordless one. Um, we also, um, it also comes with makeup. It comes with everything you see here. Now you may have gotten it on a time where we had like, there was maybe a promotion and you got some free gifts with it, but it is going to come with the makeup, the two bottles of foundation, love and blush. And then the love is something you might not use every single time, but it is beautiful. It gives your skin some uh, luminosity. And then the blush is super high pigmented. So it does bloom. It is going to bloom. So a lot of times um, I do it first. And so we're going to go over that. Now, when you're first starting out, you want to do the following things. You want to make sure, hey, Zandra, good morning. You want to make sure that you hold this four finger widths away. That might sound easy. You're like, oh, I can do that. But what happens is once the air is coming out, you either do this or you come in closer because we're so used to touching our face. So watch yourself in the mirror, move that stylus around. You want to keep it moving. And then every so often check to make sure you're that four finger widths away from your face. Then the next thing is lightly pull back on the sugar. You want very little makeup to come out. And so it's retraining our brains into thinking luminous and thinking airbrushing versus traditional makeup where you see that opaqueness right away and you're not going to see that with um luminous hello tracy good to see you all right let's go ahead and make me look alive today um i feel like i'm really tired just kidding all right so let's go ahead i'm going to start out with um everybody we, we talk about like concealers and you know what I call it pre-coverage so anything that I need to go in and cover up whether it's dark circles dark on the lids bruising um whatever the case may be uh, I have redness um all of that you can go in and cover first with pre-coverage there's a lot of different things that can be used as pre-coverage foundation can be used as pre-coverage so if you have the two bottles of foundation that you get in your kit and let's say you're the darker of the two shades or maybe you mix the two shades you can go in with the lighter one and start your pre-coverage but remember that everything you put on your face that has color is is starting that coverage for you it's going to give you some coverage so i'm using the light beige concealer i put a couple of drops i turn my system on there is air that blows out, but nothing is being released until I pull back on the trigger. Okay. So start your movement first. Good morning, Judy. Oh no. That uh, Judy's getting her roof repl uh, replaced and has to spend the day there. Judy, you might want to go ahead and take a couple of Tylenol. That's going to be loud. All right, so I'm going to go under my eyes. I start my movement and then lightly pull back on my trigger. Hold on one second. Let me grab. Uh, oh. I'm like, I've dropped my paper towels, but I have a backup. All right. So I'm underneath. 
underneath. If you can believe it, I still have a little bit of the bruising around my lip. And then I'm going to do it on my eye. Now, that's the first pass. Now, do I want a little more coverage than that? Do I want a little more highlighted under my eyes? Yes. So what do I do? I go back and make another pass. Now, I'm only concentrating on those areas where I need my extra coverage. You may be one that's blessed and, don't, and doesn't need extra coverage. But I do. And so I'm just going in and concentrating on those areas. All right. So that's all I'm doing. Okay. Now, let me just turn that off real quick. Um, I'm going in. Where's blush? I'm going in and I'm going to use my blush first. What happened to my lip? Um, I may or may not have I got a little bit of plumping and I bruise. I bruise super easy. Like I moved some filing cabinets the other day and I have a huge bruise on my um on my leg. Never hit it. Just carrying the filing cabinet. Now I have a huge bruise. Um I can't remember what day it was, but it was one of the lives that I did and I actually removed it to show everybody and I've had it, it's been for, now it's barely even there, but I've probably had it for about a week and a half. Nobody noticed. So you can't tell me it don't cover up. And then actually that started our conversation because somebody that watches was also in a horrible car accident and but her eye like black and blue. Good morning, Denise. Black and blue, like black eye. Oh, it may... It's one of those when you see that photo and you're like, oh, it like makes your insides hurt. She was that black and blue and she used her luminous to do her makeup and you could not tell, you could not tell. All right. So now I have my blush. I'm using the soft rose blush. Good morning, Martin. I'm using my soft rose blush. And yes, I'm doing it before. I do it before because I like a softer blush. But if you're new to luminous and you're like, hey, I just can't get that that um blush down because it's too bright do it first because remember how airbrush makeup goes on they're like boop, 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 little dots all over your face now you can see it a little bit but i'm going to go back i know it's on because i can feel it i'm pulling back on my trigger and see how it's starting to bloom And then three drops, uh, poof, not three, two drops are all you need. Now, in this one, I did put three because I did have a little bit of that concealer left. So I just added an extra one. But I also want to get it up a little bit more so you can see how it does bloom. That's the one thing like people are like, when I'm, when I'm teaching, when I do the small classes, they're like, uh, yeah, I just can't get the blush down. And I'm like. I understand. It's not my first rodeo. I understand. And that's, that helps because how it goes on are like little pixels. When I go back now with my, um, with my, uh, foundation, it's going to blend this. Okay. It will blend all of this. Now, that being said, uh, let me use, I'll use this one. I'm going to shake this up. I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm going to use a, um, luminizer now and our luminizers guys like i haven't used them in a while and you can't hear that bb yet so i'm making sure let me shake up a couple so i can make get the bb working oh there we go zondra said i still want your mom uh doing makeup on an older skin yes Okay, so Zandra, if you're having problems with eye makeup, anybody having problems with eye makeup on their lids because their lids are wrinkling and creakly, stick to mattes. You want to stick to matte. Remember, shimmer 
anything that's going to catch that light acts as airport runway lights. Okay. It's going to draw attention. It catches the eye. And so stay away from anything that has some shimmer. Has nobody showed me any love yet? Because that makes me depressed on this Monday. I need some love and make sure you hit the love and make sure you hit the happy and make sure you hit this heart, but not the sad face or angry face. And if you want to put an angry face because you're mad, you just have to stay and let me know why, because I can fix it. All right. So now I shook up my luminizer and yes, I'm going to use it first. Um, our luminizers, because of the pigment in it, you definitely, 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 thank you guys, want to shake them up. The pigment is heavier. So don't like shake it and then shake it a little bit more. All right, so now I'm going to go, I have my, <clears throat> I'm using the rose gold Illuminaza. And now I'm going to go right above. See how that gives me that, ooh la la. And I'm probably going a little heavier um, just to show you that if I do get a little heavy handed or what I call it, blush happy or shimmer happy um i'm still okay why because i still have to put the foundation on right another great thing is to mix your blush with a rose gold shimmer with a shimmer it is beautiful genie um a lot of us are the genie is i call her the mixologist she's on our lives too um a lot of you are a mixologist because we mix everything together. All right. So I blew that rose gold out. Now I can go in with my foundation. Now I'm going to shake this up, even though it's a shimmer. I mean, a foundation I use every day. I use it, you know, but I wasn't here this weekend. And so I'm going to shake that up. And I am using the rose four in one shade three. Now, I tell people that you will use anywhere from five to eight drops. I can be as bold as to say 10 drops, but even as a makeup lover, I would never really use 10. Um, you may in the beginning, if you're using a little bit more than that, that's okay. Um, but just know that that's what you're going to get it to because it is very forgiving. Oh, you're welcome, Judy. Um, so, and then now, like I would say five drops is what I would use if I was just going to even out my skin, skin tone and just go blah, blah, blah. Or if I was doing this and just like, didn't really care a lot, like not care. I wanted to look presentable and not scare children, but I just wanted to even out my skin tone, but just maybe I'm doing yard work. Maybe I'm, you know, whatever. If I'm going to spend more time, then yeah, I'm going to use about eight drops. If I'm if I had an event or if I'm going out or for whatever, then I'll use eight drops. However, I already have pre coverage on, I already have blush on, I already have a shimmer. So honestly, and most of my coverage is in here. So honestly, most of my coverage is done. So now I'm just using my foundation to even everything out. So chances are, I'm not even going to need eight drops. Okay. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> oh no. So Zondra said, when I blend, 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 the wrinkles just move, move, move. And my makeup gets where I don't want it. Um, <clears throat> Zondra, when I get to eyes, I'm going to touch, I'll touch on that, babe. All right. So now I have my foundation in here. And I'm going to start in one spot. Natural blush. Yep. Go down my neck. And you can go in whatever order you want. Like, you don't have to stick in one place. You'll get into that swing where you're no, like, you just automatically start. You don't even have to think about it, okay? So that's one full pass. Is that the coverage that I want? My nose is a little, still a little too shiny. The blush is a little bit too much. So now I can start there. Because that's where my I need my coverage or where I need to blend it a little bit more.
but see how everything just softens now the blush isn't as bright the nose isn't as shiny it's still shiny it still has that shimmer i want the shimmer i put it on but it's a little bit softer and that's where i can concentrate it with airbrush makeup you do not have to put the same amount of makeup everywhere okay put it hit it and quit it is what i like to say so you know hit those areas that you need it and then kind of blend the rest out <clears throat> sorry guys I, i'm getting some sinuses Jeannie says it's true i've mixed everything <laughs> Oh yeah. Jeannie mix. We have, um, I want to say like five or six, seven blushes. We have tulip tulip. You know what? Please hold. I'll show you what the blushes we have. Where are they? Here they are. These are our blushes. We have soft rose tulip, natural apricot and plum and certain ones go with each starter kit. Um, the natural blush, if you don't have that one, that's, that is definitely one to get. Um, and that one mixed with any of the uh, blushes is beautiful, that mix. Um, but anyone can use any of those colors because remember, intensity and coverage is made by passes. So even the dark plum, the plum one, you can, any skin tone can use that because if you're a lighter skin tone, you don't have to, you can use one drop. So it's, um, <laughs> you're welcome Jeannie um so you don't have to put as much on I love the plum blush plum blush is one of my faves all right so now I'm going to go for eyes so I'm going to use this one which we all know and love now when doing eyeshadow and I think this is what Zondra was talking about with um with wrinkles and crinkles um don't when let me think okay so when doing airbrush when you're doing your air make sure not to make faces so don't go like this when you're trying you know maybe you want to close your eye but you want to look out of one and you're like that don't do that remember when we did the halloween one and i showed you the picture of uh me as an old woman hello pam and i went an airbrush and then I stopped and then you saw where all the wrinkles and crinkles should be. That's the same thing. So even airbrushing, if you are a little bit more wrinkle and crinkly, don't worry. You could do like do a couple this, this, you can do things like that. Um, when you get to the eyes, same thing. When I do and do makeup on somebody else and maybe it is, a, they have a little more wrinkles and crinkles on the lids. Um, let's go in with a, Let's go with the medium brown. I can go in. And do that. Okay. So don't think that like, don't try to fight around it. Just you can grab the um, brow bone and lift it. and blend it. Now what happens is you'll want to check it. So you want to drop it and check it a little bit, <coughs> but you are blending so lightly that you shouldn't have a lot of movement. And I know some people are going to have more movement than others, and that's perfectly okay. We can do makeup around that. So again, brow bone, lift up a little, and then you can do it that way. Does that make sense? Cause like if I was going to do an eyeshadow and then close my eye, you know, you know how you YouTube, Instagram, whatever you see these eyes and they're beautiful and they're laid out and they're uh, not a wrinkle on them. Well, honey, anybody can do some awesome makeup with no wrinkles on your lid. That would be, that's a, that's a blank canvas. We're going to work around that. I can't close my eye without having some wrinkles on my lid. Okay. So we can go and work around that, but don't put a lot of pressure 
on the lid. Oh, good, Judy. Hey, Muzi. So, and then if you need to, lift up at the brow. Lift up the brow. But notice ring, uh, ring finger is your weakest finger. That's the one I picked up on. Okay. Barely have to touch it. And there you go. Zondra, does that help you? Now I am going, even though I do have some wrinkles and crinkles down here, I'm going to go in with this. It's like a bronzy gold. And I'm going to put it right here. Now, to me, I like that because it does lighten it. You can also do a lighter color, a bronze color that is matte. You don't have to do shimmer. Also, if you have more wrinkles and crinkles, don't think, don't, don't misunderstand me as far as thinking, oh, I can't do any shimmer. You can, we just need to pick where we put it, okay? Even on the eye, all the way inside, like right here, boop, 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 sometimes that crinkles more than what's in here. So you can put the shimmer, but maybe you just keep it right here on this, right here on where the, uh, your cornea is right where the color is. Oh, Cindy's like, I, I had some, but they're less because she's using our contour kit. I love that. I was, um, I've worked on that since the beginning, since it started. And guys, let me tell you, I've seen firsthand. See, you can even do this if you need to. I've seen firsthand how that works. Yes. So if you need to raise it up like this, you can do so. Okay. But just remember, shimmer is going to draw attention. Matte will keep you matte and it's less obvious. So you can go light, but maybe it's a matte or just do it a little bit where you don't go all the way in. All right. Okay. So now let's go in and do it. still stick with the medium brown i'm going to line that's why i love lining with eyeshadows because i'm not pulling on my pencils to me there are some pencils like the coal pencils i love because they are softer as i age i don't want and and i wish i you know i think when we're younger we think oh that'll never happen to me or that's so far i don't have to worry about that now if I could air, if I could have airbrushed when I was younger, when I first started doing makeup, I would have looked way younger than I do right now. Um, and so, because we're not having that constant pull on our face. Do you remember putting on that blue eyeliner where you pull your lid and you stretch it? Well, we don't want to do that as much when we're older. There's times, I mean, there's sometimes you need to do it, but I can go in with an eyeshadow. And I'm literally placing it. That's why I do love our persuasion eyeliners. That's a calligraphy pen. It doesn't leave you with um, any hiccups. It leaves you meaning speed bumps or anything. It goes on very smooth and very even, even on wrinkles and crinkles on the lid. Now, I'm going to tell you all another little trick. When putting on eyeliner, if you, let's say you even did eyeliner on the top here, when doing eyeliner and you're like, let's say you're having to close one eye and you're, and then sometimes it, it leaves you a little space here. If you'll take a mirror and I tell you this, when you're putting on your, um, your lashes to look down, why looking down? Because looking down is going to stretch your eye to the shape we need it um, to put the lash on, okay? So same thing with eyeliner. You can take a mirror, look down, and do the eyeliner that way. However, when you get to this inside corner, this eye, you're gonna look this way. So move your mirror here, 
because that's going to stretch that skin. And then on this side, do it that way. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right. Oh, exactly, Cindy. Exactly. Cindy said, using eyeshadow for liner, you have the have um, the options of so many colors. That's so true. If you have this one, you have 36 different eyeshadow colors. And guess what? I didn't wet it, but you can wet your brush in the sink where the, the drain is. Just put this, you can put it, this is our angled brush. Wet that and then put this on and it's a little bit of a cream eyeshadow. And there you go. Okay. So all of our eyeshadows, because they are so pigmented, they're creamy. So the ones, if I was going to do some kind of shimmer underneath and line it, I would definitely wet it just because shimmer is going to um, have a little more fallout than the rest and than anything else. So, all right, handy dandy dusty rose, which is a great everyday one, every day, every day. And I have, I saw, I saw this on TikTok um, where they just close their mouth. I will tell you another little tidbit. When doing, I, because when I do lip liner, even on other people, like how they hold their lips is so funny. And I have a crooked smile. And so if I did this, like, I don't know how you, it moves your mouth around. So when you first line your lips, lips close. See how mine's crooked? I know I've been doing this for so long. Um, I'm like, haven't I told you all this before? <laughs> Who knows? I have so much information. Go in here, lining. Question. I have the final seal for the airbrush. Can I use a bit of that with the eyeshadow? As Do you mean for liner? Like mix that with liner? Or just on your eyes? Uh... You know what, Judy? Hold on. Let's see. You're welcome, Zandra. All right. And then, real quick, and I'm going to check. Happy birthday, Delbert. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's Delbert's birthday. Delbert, Delbert, I hope you have a happy birthday. All right. Let me put this up. <clears throat> Let me see if I have. If I All right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? 
Can you hear me now? Did y'all miss me singing happy birthday to Delbert? Did you miss me singing happy birthday to Delbert? Do I need to do it again? Yay, Holly can hear too. Did y'all miss me singing happy birthday? Denise is like, no, don't sing it. Happy birthday, Delbert. It's your birthday. You're going to have some fun today. Happy birthday, Delbert. <laughs> Tracy's like, uh, I heard you and please do not do it again. Um, all right, guys. We can hear you now. We can hear you now. All right. So about using the airbrush final seal to make an eyeliner. Here are my thoughts. <clears throat> I, I'm pretty sure it would work. I'm pretty sure it, it, it's, it'll be like a setting spray, which it is. So yes, 100% believe it will work. Um, but I don't think you need them because of the fact I would rather, cause our, um, our stuff is so pigmented that I feel it really doesn't need. So even if you just wet it a little bit, mix it, bam, it's on, then do final seal, then everything stays. Um, however, let's put it to the test. I will see if I can get one for tomorrow um, and we can do it. Um, so we can try it out. Let's try it out. Um, but I, usually when I do my final seal, I have, I have everything on lips, mascara e done, everything, everything on. And then I'll do my final seal. That's what I do. So, um, so yeah, there you go. All right. I'm going to finish up with mascara and I will be set for the day. So we'll double check that. Um, we'll double check that tomorrow. All right. All right, guys, thanks for being with me, Delbert. Have a happy birthday. Thank you, everybody, for saying hello. We love to we love to see you and hear from you each and every day. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye for now.